Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy 2020. For today's video, I wanted to give you guys a little bedroom update and also take you through refreshing my shelves. So my good friend Danny Berger came over in the summer and built these amazing bedroom shelves for me. I'm gonna link her DIY video up here. The coolest thing about this shelf is that it's actually a renter-friendly built-in, which means that it's not attached to the wall at all, but it like supports itself. I don't really know the physics behind it or like the science. Is that a science thing? Physics? I don't know, okay. <laughs> I don't really know how she did this and how it is so secure, but I love it. Reese Witherspoon also loves it. I just have to give like a shameless plug. Reese Witherspoon's book club reposted my picture of the shelf and I basically just lost it. Because it's the new year, I wanted to redecorate these shelves, give this room a bit of a refresh, and walk you guys through the process of styling a big shelf unit like this. Because so many of you have asked me, how do I style my bookshelf? And it's pretty straightforward. You kind of just wing it. So I'm gonna take you through that, and then I'm gonna walk you through um, some of the new pieces in my bedroom. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean all of these shelves. I wanna give a shout out to my friend, Melissa Maker, who makes these amazing microfiber cloths. I've mentioned them before, this is not sponsored. She's one of my good friends and I really, really love these for cleaning. I use them all around my house. They're washable, like machine washable. I've used these in every room a million times and they're still in perfect condition. I love how big these are because you can clean, you know, like a whole shelf or a whole room with just one because there's lots of surface area to work with. I'm going to see if there's a discount code I can give you guys um, if you're interested in purchasing some of these for yourself. If there is a discount code, it'll be linked in my description box below. Oh, and I'm also using my Greenworks 98% naturally derived all-purpose cleaner. I use this in my Clean With Me video, which I will link up here, and I also love this. It's one of my most favorite cleaning products. Guys, I found an air plant. A very dead air plant. So something I did to this shelf before that you guys have all been loving over on my Instagram is organizing my books by color, grouping them by color, basically color coding them. So many of you guys have been sending in pictures of your bookshelves to my Instagram and it makes me so happy. And it's just like such a fun way to make a beautiful decor statement out of all of your books. I've also found that on the world of social media, there is hot controversy surrounding the way people organize their books. Some people are like, why would you organize them by color? You're not gonna be able to find anything. A lot of people get really riled up when Harry Potter isn't like in the same shelf. I am sticking to the color coding thing just cause it looks so cute. I also don't have a ton of books. I'm not someone who hoards every book I read. I usually give books away and the books that I do keep are the ones that really mean something to me that I'm gonna read again. I actually am a big reader. I always have been. I've kept books like, Okay, this is, this is my all time favorite, favorite book. It's called What My Mother Doesn't Know. I read this maybe when I was like 12 or 13 and it inspired me to actually write my own novel of poetry. It's just so sentimental to me. So never giving that away. I love it so much. I'm gonna start organizing these by color, placing them kind of everywhere on this shelf, to be honest. I'm not doing it in any like specific shelf order. And then we're gonna go in and add in all the trinkets. One thing I would encourage you guys to try is not filling a whole shelf with books. So leaving a little bit of space, um, in this case I'm leaving a lot of space, it gives you room to either stack books upwards, like I'm gonna do here, or add a cute little trinket. And I find that it doesn't make your shelves feel so like full. It gives room for you to add in decor afterwards. You guys will also notice that when I'm styling anything, but usually a shelf, um, I will place something, take it away, replace it a million times. It really is all about like stepping back, taking a look at it, going in, moving things until you get it just right. Okay, so this shelf right here is feeling a little too full to me. So what I'm gonna do is take a couple of the coffee table books that are in this stack and just put them on a shelf by themselves. 
you might be nervous to just put two books on a shelf, but if you have lots of space like this, it really does look good if, if you kind of break things up with just a couple stacked books. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how that feels. It's Cause I feel like coffee table books always look beautiful and you wanna have them like in easy reach to grab. So all my books are in where I think I want them to go. So now I'm gonna layer in all of the other stuff I have. The decor, I have tons of magazines that I've collected over the years. I really pared down the magazines that I have. Um, it used to be out of control and I would just keep every magazine I ever bought. But now I just keep the ones that either mean something to me or that I will refer to like later on um, for inspiration. So I'm going to stack those upwards um, in different cubbies. Spaces. Before I had them all like in one stack, but I think I'm gonna separate them by magazine. So I've got my books in, my magazines in. Now I'm gonna start layering in decor. I have a bit of decor on the floor, which was up here on these shelves before. I'm gonna head up to my prop loft. I have tons of props up there that I use for shoots, see what I can find, see if there's anything else I can add in here. Again, just to make it feel a little bit fresher. I look at this decor all the time, so I'm gonna see if I can change it up a bit. Let's see what we can find. Okay. Found some palms. Take the camera. Okay. So friends, this is my my prop loft. It's a little bit stuffed with um, props right now. But in this cabinet, I have lots of like, you know, vases, candles, um, some mini party hats for Harry. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. This is cute. This is this cute little vase from um, H&M Home. And I think I have some dried eucalyptus I can put in here. So I'll try that. Oh, I actually like this too. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do these three things. And then the pom-poms that I threw down at Carla. <laughs> okay. Um, I also have some art up here. <laughs> Let's do these two things. One thing I like to do when displaying art prints on a shelf is staggering them. So you'll see that like the donut print is really far back. This rainbow print is a little bit forward. And I just find that this creates a lot of depth and it just looks interesting. It's more interesting than just lining a bunch of pictures up side by side. Oh, and I've also layered in a decor piece just to break it up a little, creating layers and depth. It just like, just transforms the shelf. Another thing I like to do, especially in a small space like this, my apartment has one closet, get these storage boxes from Ikea, really simple. Um, I put a little custom label on it and I fill it with things that wouldn't necessarily look good out on display. So I have all of my um, writing, so like journals I've been published in, just like papers and stuff that I wanna keep but won't look good on a shelf. I just pop it in a box. So I'm placing this here and I have a few others as well. I also always keep an empty one so that if anyone comes to stay over, like my sister or my mom or whoever, they have a box where they can put their toiletries, their clothes, anything that they might need while they're staying here. Again, just to keep things like in order, this is a small space. So they have um, a box where they can put all their stuff. Another little storage hack I've been doing is taking some decorative baskets and putting all of my shoes in them. I do have a shoe organizer that I keep outside um, of my apartment, 
but I like having these kinds of shoes. They're just like my slides. Um, easily accessible and again it saves space so I have even more space in my entryway for like boots and those things that take a lot of a lot of room so I'm just plopping these in the shelf proof that you can have a bookshelf that holds your books and decor and even shoes <laughs> so fun this is how it's looking so far we're almost there So I've refreshed the shelves. It feels so good. New year, new shelf decor. Hashtag shelfie, my new favorite hashtag on Instagram. I love how the shelf that Danny built me is so functional, but also just so beautiful. This bedroom is quite big for a downtown apartment bedroom. And when I moved in, I was like, how do I make good use of this big space? And I feel like this shelf really does it all. It stores things, it looks really beautiful, and I get to put all of the things that I love out on display. Let me know in the comments below, do you have a shelf in your home that is decorative but also holds books? Or are you the type of person who just likes a shelf for decor? Some people are like that. Some people just like a shelf um, to be filled with just decor, trinkets, plants, all of those things. But let me know what your shelf looks like down below in the comments. And also let me know what you struggle with when decorating a shelf. And maybe I can help answer some of those questions down below. Now I just wanna give you guys a refresh of my bedroom. I got a really stunning headboard from Make Moves Vintage, Autumn Hashi, I will link her down below too. She has these custom like shell shaped headboards, so beautiful. I fell in love with it the minute I saw it. When it was being installed in my space, I was like, oh my God, I love it. I have a king size bed now, which is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Like I like starfish in my bed at night with my cats. Great. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what my bedroom looks like since you since you last saw it. I will link my previous bedroom makeover video um, up here. But yeah, this is what it's looking like now and I'm really, really happy with it. Sorry guys, Lottie's purring really, really loudly. So if you're hearing something, that's what you can hear. Thank you guys so much for watching this bedroom update video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gave you some tips on styling your own bookshelf at home. I will see you guys next week as always. And, oh, I think we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go take a nap. Say bye. She has lipstick all over her face. Bye.